Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to take your Confluence pages to the next level by creating custom HTML elements directly in Confluence using the capable HTML macro. If you've ever wanted more control over the look and feel of your pages, this is the tool for you. Here are a few scenarios where the capable HTML macro can be a game chain. Custom layouts. If you need to display a complex layout that goes beyond Confluence's default options, you can now create your own custom HTML grids, flex boxes, and more. Styled notices and alerts. You can easily create eye-catching notices, alerts, or messages for your team with custom styles, perfect for important updates or project statuses. And custom branding. If you want your Confluence pages to reflect your company's branding with specific fonts, colors, and layouts, you can now directly code these elements into your pages. Before we get started, there's a key differentiator between our solution and others, which is the integration of Tailwind, which makes styling a breeze. Let's dive into how you can use the capable HTML macro to create custom elements. So here I have a Confluence page, which represents the onboarding guide for new employees. And you can see at the top, we've got a lovely animated Jumbotron or hero uh, section there that says, welcome to the team. And then underneath we have step-by-step -step with progress uh, indicators here. And you can see as the page goes on, these progress indicators fill up. And at the end, we've got a nice tick mark there to show that the users are have finished. And each of these elements is a HTML macro. Um, so as you can see, if I click edit here, this is all HTML code written in here. And we also have a, a load of templates here that we can use to add elements. So let's go ahead and, and add a new element here. I want to add an alert to the top of the page because there's been a a change in our uh, process. So I simply type slash HTML and select the capable HTML option from the menu. This will open the configurator, which lets me input the HTML code that I'd like to add. And I can manually just change this text here. And you can see that reflects instantly in the preview. And over here, we have a drop down that lets you insert templates from a, a built in library just to make your life a bit easier if you want to add something. So, in this scenario, I'm going to add an alert. So, you can see here we've got a bunch of different examples, and I quite like the red one. So, I'm going to pick that one. And I can simply change to HTML here. And after I've, I'm happy with how I, I want this macro, I simply click save. And you can see at the top of the page, there's my new HTML macro there being shown uh, in addition to the rest of my page here. Let's take a look at some of the other templates available. If I go to the bottom of the page and type, as we saw earlier, type slash HTML. And I can take a look through some of these examples. So we've got a few badges we can use to uh, highlight information. We have alerts that we used earlier. We have a timeline that we can use to show uh, dates and events that happened on them. And finally, we have a chat here. So for example, we could include this in our page to show a, a chat log or a scenario that our support staff might go through. And then click update. And you can see at the bottom, we've got our HTML rendered there, lovely. And we can do lots of things that Confluence can't do out of the box using this feature. 
And that's how easy it is to create beautiful custom HTML elements in Confluence using the capable HTML macro. Whether you're designing custom layouts, adding interactive components, or reflecting your brand's unique style, this macro gives you the power and flexibility to do it all without leaving Confluence. I hope you found this useful. If you want to make your Confluence pages stand out, try the capable HTML macro today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Confluence tips, and I'll see you in the next one.